bees and butterflies and hummingbirds are finding it harder and harder to get a good dose of their source of life, nectar, so that they can pollinate plants and flowers to keep them blooming. Our green thumb expert, Amy Dismukes, now shows us how to add things to our gardens and yards that will help these busy creatures. We're here today at Gardens of Babylon to talk a little bit about the power of pollinators. Pollinators not only keep our landscapes blooming and beautiful, but they also play a very large role in food production. I'm Amy Dismukes with the ET TSU Extension Office, and today we are going to discuss in detail a few of these plants that can bring these guys into our landscape. For all of us vegetable growers out there, these small clustered flowers, very dense, are really important for the beneficials, specifically the parasitic wasps. These little guys come in and take out the bad caterpillars that hit all of our lovely tomato plants. This red salvia is a great plant for hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are one of those guys that we forget about as a pollinator, but in reality, they're very important in keeping the genetic diversity of our landscape plants because they travel hundreds of miles. Purple cone flowers like this fella right here are great for bringing in a myriad of different types of pollinator insects. Honeybees, wasps, hoverflies, and even the butterflies like this guy, and they share all at the same time. Bee balm is another great pollinator plant. This guy not only attracts the bees, the honeybees, but also, as its name, also butterflies. Butterflies love bee balm and also hummingbirds. Lantana is another great landscape plant. The very small nectaries provide pollen and nectar for our beneficials and pollinators. So a couple that I'd like to mention as well, just to make a reminder that when we have butterflies in the landscape, we need to be willing to let go of some of those plants. Number one would be milkweed. Milkweed is for the monarchs, but it also brings in other butterfly species. But the caterpillars come first, so they're gonna take it out. That's okay. We want the milkweed and we want the monarchs. Another quick one to mention would be parsley. Parsley, rue, are both hosts for the Eastern Black Swallowtail Caterpillar, which is one of our native caterpillars here in Tennessee. My suggestion, plant a parsley for yourself and plant a parsley for your caterpillars. With that being said, let's just remember to keep one plant for us, one plant for the pollinators. And if you have any questions, you can follow up by contacting me at adismuke at utk.edu and check out the article on the Honline homepage, Power for the Pollinators.